A word for our listeners. Octung Cthulhu is set in the 1930s and 40s. We will be using terms and sayings from those times, including some that could be considered offensive. It is not our intention to offend. We merely wish to offer as accurate a view of the time period as possible. Welcome to Masks of Nyarlathotep, a Nerds Domain Gaming Podcast. Join us each week as our investigators uncover the corruption of the mythos in World War II. Starring George Chimbles, Phil Durham, Rob Walker, Justin Kimmett, Shirley Nedzwicky, and Scott Troiano. With Matt Quiet running the table as the keeper. Eldritch evils and crazed Nazi cultists await you just beyond this music. Hi everybody and welcome back to the Nerds Main Present Masks of Nyarlathotep. Just so you guys know, this one will be a short episode. This will just be the combat that we stopped right before uh, during the last game. So uh, if you haven't listened to that episode, you really should. Wait, what? We're in combat? Oh, holy cow. Uh, yeah, somebody shot somebody or tried to. Good God. I'm here with Hi, Shirley. Hello. Here. <laughs> George. Wait, what? Rob. Having a great tired time. Uh, Phil. Eat my shorts. And. Oh, Whoa. Oh. Deep cut from the 90s. And though. Jesse. Howdy. Like 80s? Like late 80s. Late 80s, maybe even if we're being charitable. Well, I don't know. All right, so. The Tracy Ullman Show. We have gotten declarations from everybody. Surely you are confused. Yes. Uh, Claudia is going... Uh, Running. Uh, yes. Uh, actually, this is firing, so no, no. George, you can fire again. <laughs> I'm gonna. What's our distance? Um, you are not within... Across the room. Uh, feet. Whatever. Oh, Jesus. Miss. Actually, you probably are. I take that back. Yeah. Hit. Okay, go ahead. Eight damage. Whew. All right. What kind of gun are you using? A Browning High Power. Nice. So uh, is that a uh, like a automatic or is that it's a semi-automatic? Okay. Two attacks per round. Okay. Um. Phil, you are also firing, but you're firing into Nidicri- or uh, Tahira. Yes. Like first firing round, I'm drawing. Actually, that's true. That's true. Jesse, you're also ra- drawing. I am. Okay. So we're going to skip you for a second because then we go to normal actions. Right. Shirley is uh, very confused on normal actions. Claudia, who has been shot, runs from from the room. You guys can't chase her down. It'll just be a matter of doing that. Uh, George, you can fire again if you'd like. At her or someone else? She's you, out of range. Um, you could get another shot off. You'd be at a negative 10. Okay, let's do that. Okay. That's going to be a hit. Okay, go ahead. Three. Uh, she stumbles a little bit, but uh, doesn't seem to go down. Boo earns to that. Bill? So I'm firing at... Nidicris. Tahira. Tahira, in Tahira. my mind. Um, what's the rules if I'm within feet of my... Uh, a ve- feet of dex, which you will be. You'll, you'll uh, double your skill that you have to roll under. So if you have like a 60, you just have to not botch. Okay, so I just have to not botch. I didn't botch. So six points of damage. Okay. Um, you hear a clang. Um, I assume you, you sh- when you shoot at her, you shoot her kind of mid-body. Uh, you hear a clang, and she sits up. Clang like she's made out of metal or wearing metal or something? Wearing metal. Weird. Uh, Jesse. The, the clang was loudly hearable? Yes. Could I try to shoot somewhere where not the sure, chest? Go ahead. Okay. Uh, let's see. 81. I'm pretty sure that's a miss. Oh, I'm close enough to double my thing, aren't I? Yeah. Okay, that's a hit. Okay. Um, hang on. What what kind of uh, damage am I using? I just have a standard handgun. A uh, standard handgun does a D8. A D8, okay. That's, I'm just going to go with a D8. That's what Eight you damage. Okay. 
You also, uh, you don't uh, hear a clang, but there seems to be, the bullet seems to be slowed immediately right before uh, it touches her skin. It does go in, but it, there's a, a, a rapid reduction in uh, speed. Rob, you jump up over the couch onto the back, right? So you said it on behind it, behind it. That's what I meant. So yeah. you said it goes in. It does go in. Is there any blood at that wound site? Yes. Or? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. It, it reacts normally, but instead of going in at normal bullet speed, it goes I'm in doing at a huge like a quarter boom. of that. Yeah. It, okay. Um. No one needs a third firing this round. George, do you get? Two? I get a third fire. You only have two. So you fired two. Yeah, you can go ahead and fire then, Phil. So I'm going to target at a spot which does not, I can see is not um, metal covered. So probably, I guess, anything where I see skin. Okay. Go ahead. I rolled an 11. Uh, Is that uh, a fifth of your skill? Yes. Okay. So you get impaled, so you'll double your damage. You can either roll two dice or just double what you got. Um, Given the option, I'll double what I got. Okay. 16. All right. Uh, again, it does slow, um, but it enters her body. She seems exceptionally pained. Um, and then we'll go to the top of the next round. So here's the situation I just want you guys to all think about real quick. You are in a German uh, home firing on the second floor with potentially people downstairs that will kill you. What is your intent as a group? Which is something that you should all think about. And uh, what do you want to do from here? Because this could turn very ugly very quickly and you could all die. I'm not saying I'm going to I won't be upset with how we could go from there, but this could all turn very badly for you very quickly. Or you could just try and finish into Chris off and leave or you could chase down Claudia and kill her and leave. It's up to you. Or you could uh, Claudia did. Well, we're going to say Claudia dropped her book of notes. You could grab that and leave. It's up to you what you guys want to do, but at this point, if you waste too much time, it's just going to get really bad. Barring anybody saying anything, uh, uh, Carlos's inclination is to empty his clip in a Nidicarus. Okay. First things first. Okay. How many clip? How many shots do you have? In the clip? I've got another ten rounds. Holy cow! Ten. No, so, we have all So five combat rounds. I've got eleven rounds. So. Yeah, so five com- five more combat rounds. Sure. Okay. All right. So that Blake will plan to. Yeah. I just wanted to put that out there. You can take soliloquies. Yeah, I was going to jump behind the couch with the okay. professor. So you guys have guns. Surely you're jumping behind the couch. You did say you brought a gun. Right. I don't know what's going on. I was you... like, it made me feel like that, but I didn't feel like it. Because Carlos is going to be yelling, "Shoot her! She's evil." Your, your friends are firing upon them. This is true. There's, the, it's not like friends. anybody else is you, firing. You knew you were coming to investigate an occult. I mean, Carlos is screaming in a mixture right. of Spanish and English about evil and pollution as he fires wildly into her, approaching and getting. Is there any point religious? Uh, no, okay. there's no religious content. Just that would normally be what people scream about. So you know, he does not believe in religion. That's fine. Just want to make that out there. Blake is going to be. Very calm and collected and focused and not okay. scream or anything, but just clearly staying out of. Well, let's well, let's go through to declare okay. real quick, and then yeah, we'll get into that. So surely you are jumping behind the couch. Are you mm-hmm. also going to be firing from back there? Not at this point. Okay, uh, George. Yeah, you're firing some more and approaching close. Okay, uh, Phil. I'm going to slowly approach, and I'm going to start trying to. Um, Shoot her in the head. Okay. Uh, Jesse? Um, continue firing upon my target from where I am. And Rob? Describe the room. Um, it's probably what 20 foot by 25. You've got the six couches in there, so it's a little on the tight side. But there's a desk, some bookcases. There's a second door, which you would have to guess is either a bathroom or something along those lines. And then the main door that you guys came in, that would lead you to the stairs. There's probably a second exit somewhere. Or you could go out a window. There are two windows because you're kind of on a corner of the house. Mm -hmm. 
Second story drop is not going to be the worst thing. It prob- probably won't kill you. Probably. None of you have taken damage, so probably likely not going to kill you. Just don't be in silk pajamas and jump. <laughs> <laughs> you just twisted an ankle. And then got addicted to laudanum. No. Gonna shelter Evelyn. Okay. Are you pulling a gun or anything? No. Okay. Are you saying anything? No. Okay. So surely you hide. Uh, George, you're firing. Yep. Yeah, you're you're well within your feet or whatever. You're close. <laughs> Three damage. You still do need to roll to attack because you can roll the knight. You're right. Whatever for malfunction. But I, I get to re-roll for damage. Three. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, and the other thing to keep in mind is if you're at a fifth of your modified attack or modified your sk- skill, then you could still impale as well. So you could have done dam- double damage as well. That's what I'm. There's, yeah, I don't think I did. That's fine. Um, Philly, go ahead. So a fifth of our modified, so a fifth of our doubled. Yes. Yeah. Since we're trying to target specific areas, are you reducing uh, I would that reduce that back down to normal. Okay. So a fifth is going to... So it's not impale, uh, but it is a hit for six points of damage. Okay. Uh, Jesse. Let's see. 19. I believe that might be a fifth. What's, what's your skill? Is it over 100? Uh, yeah, yeah it's, uh, that's a it, fifth. my modified skill would be 120. Yeah, then it hits. So that's a that's a fifth. And that does what? 2d8 or, or doubled? Double, doubled, so 2d8 is fine. Uh, six. I should have went with one doubled. Uh, seven damage. Okay. Uh, Nidicris stands. Uh, George, you are closest. Um, she grabs your arm and chants. Uh, can you give me, um, let's, uh, get the book out because I got it. I just need to pull the book out and look at the resistance table. What's your, what's your dexterity, George? It's 14. Yeah. Uh, happy, so happy she's Georgia. got an 18. So you need to roll, um, 30 or under 30% or under. I roll a 10. Okay. So uh, you take one point of damage as her hands begin to glow, and there's a look of fire to them. Um, And then I also need you to roll a sanity check. Fail. Okay. So you uh, get the intense idea that you're about to catch fire again. You can role play that however you like, but that is potentially very psychologically damaging to you. Um. Surely you hide. Claudia runs away. George, what are you doing? Start shrieking wildly and cursing them for cowards as I fire more. As you fire more. Um, let's go ahead and drop it back down to regular firing instead of doubling it, even though you're right at her. So go ahead and shoot. This is my second attack this round, yes? Yes. Oh, yeah, that's an impale. <laughs> <laughs> oh, on fire. <laughs> Carlos says even better. That's a good motivator. Four. Four? Yeah. Uh, eight. Doubled. That's impale, right? Oh, yeah, you're right. Okay. Um, Phil. Does she still have a hand on... No, she kind of like... She went to grab him, and he kind of yanked back at the last second, and she kind of like grazed his arm. And you can see where... He's not on fire, and it's not even like his his skin has been burnt. It's just now scarred. Okay. Uh, and if there was clothes there, it's gone like it had been burnt away, and there's just a scar there now. I hate it when you get attacked by aliens. So whatever side, whatever arm was not scarred, that is now scarred. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> so seeing that he's taken damage, I'll want to be about as close as him. But if since he took a step back, not necessarily as close as him, but yeah. like I want to be a valid target because I'm going to t- 
try to uh, uh, attract her attention. Okay. Um, since he's taken some damage, right. um, but not necessarily be like, oh, hey, I'm going to jump right into your, to your danger zone. Yeah. If that makes sense. And then I'll say something like, um, <laughs> vile thing, leave him alone and shoot. Oh. Um, that still and, hits, though. Uh, unless you're trying to shoot in the head. Are you trying to shoot in the head? Um, yeah, I'd probably still be trying to shoot in the head. That's going to be the weakest point, so that's a miss. That would be a miss. Um, Jesse, you have a second shot? Yep. Go ahead. Uh, I rolled a 19 again. Hey, there you go. Let's see if I can do 14 damage. Whoa. Uh, so you shoot her. Uh, she takes it kind of right in the chest and just drops. Um, Carlos, the, the idea that you're on fire or could be on fire is gone just immediately as soon as she drops. Uh, you do still feel some pain on your arm from where that happened, but it's scar tissue. You're, you're at least used to that. Um, now we're dropping out of combat. I told our listeners that we'd only be in combat. Well, well, let's get you to the next little bit real quick. So you guys are in this, this building. What is your next step? Reload. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Did you bring an extra clip, honestly? Oh, yeah. Okay. We would stand up, right? Yeah. I'm not moving until you move. <laughs> I'm waiting for the, yeah, I'm waiting for the, the noise to stop, and then I'm going to stand up. Okay. I'm um, going towards the window. Reload. When on, appro- on approaching the, the manor or house or mm-hmm. whatever, um, was there an awning? Uh, Covering. Uh, roll luck. And, uh, Jesse, can you roll credit rating real quick? Did she Uh-oh. drop the notebook in the room or outside? In the room. Okay. Yeah, even if I was lucky, I wasn't going to make that 95 <laughs> be lucky. Uh, there is an awning, but not on this side. This seems to be like the backside or something. Okay. Is there any alcohol in the room? I. Uh, yeah. There's a bottle of whiskey, like, on mm-hmm. one of the shelves. I start splashing on I- the couches and set it on fire. I like your style, sir. Okay. Um, Even if that is a I think Jesse whiskey. was going to jump out the window. I got a 34 on credit rating. My it, credit rating is base. I thought we talked about upping it, but I don't know if we did or not. I don't think we did. Uh, you got a 34? Yeah. We'll, we'll let 15. that one go. Um, okay. Uh, it's actually scotch. That should make you feel a little better. It's burning scotch. Well, as an Irishman, you're just burning scotch. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, uh, yeah, Jesse, so you did have a card to bring them all out in. That's what we were rolling for on that credit rating. So your okay. card is here. Um, and surely you're going to pick up the notebook. Mm-hmm. Okay. What are you guys doing? Out the window? Pushing I the burning couch against the door. Right. Are you going to shut the door first? Yeah. Okay. Just one couch or like you pushing multiple couches? Like, well, the burning couch the first room? and then the rust. Okay. No, there's a window. Is there a but chair the window, the there's nothing out yeah. there to get us. There's the a ground chair through the window. Okay. I've crashed many planes. Don't worry, it's not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> you go lay down out there. I'll jump on top of you. Yeah. Right. Whatever. I go out the window. Um. Okay. I so. Also. Okay. Hold on. So. Uh, Blake picks up the chair from the desk, smashes the window, kind of breaks the glass around the edges so it's not going to catch you on the way out. While you're setting up the fire. And out goes Albrecht and uh, then Carlos right behind him. Rob, what is Thomas doing? Or William doing? Joining the Nazi party. (laughs) (laughs) No, the Thule Society, (laughs) by way. (laughs) Well, see, yeah, that's kind of the conundrum, right? (laughs) No. (laughs) Let's approach this the way I would approach this. Right? Oh I'm not necessarily the Nazi party, but I just oh I just God. made like major headway with the Thule Society, and that's right. As my my character, that's what my character wants. Like, not necessarily you, specifically the Thule Society. So, real quick, just a, a note for your character. But to complete our mission, it was noted that the Thule or that the Black Sun is under the SS, so they are SS, right? Making them right. I, okay. I understand this point. I, so this isn't like. Oh, I'm a Nazi because I'm German. This is like, I'm a Nazi because I'm SS and that's what we are. That is the only thing we are. That is the only thing that matters. I Heil don't, Hitler. I don't disregard this okay, point. I want you I, to I, right. that no, no, wrapped no. in there. I'm not <laughs> disregarding He's this point. He's becoming a minion. <laughs> <laughs> 
No, but this is an opportunity. You know, oh my goodness. I mean, because again, well, and then think of it from an espionage point. Yes, it right. will put you in the inside, but um, they're going to know what happened because Claudia got away. Uh, which means you oh, could shit. die by association. Dingbats. All yeah. right. Oh this yeah, is- real dingbats. And and if they find out in any way, shape, or form that you're a spy, it's just hanging. Yeah. Uh, un- unless they do something terrible to you, and they can bring people back from the dead. Who knows what else they can do? Also, we should their, probably go. Their house is on fire. <laughs> I've got the notebook. We should probably go. All right. If I'm they're out the window, let's go. I mean, yeah. Presumably, if they're having a discussion, I've already. I think I'm he was more thinking around. about it. It's than... an inner monologue, brother. Right. This isn't for you. Oh, gosh, but right. I not, saw not your a, head. I'm not sharing this shit with you because you done told me you're going to kill me. Not a. Not a <laughs> <laughs> All right. We have a nice little private conversation. <laughs> not a discussion. <laughs> I see what what's going on in your head. I'm tugging you out the window. <laughs> if there's hesitation, I'm not waiting for you to decide. My point is that if those two went out the window and you're still kind of. Eh, eh, I'm getting my ass out the window. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> wait to see if you're following. Everybody goes out the window. I need everybody to roll luck. Great. Right. Unless, Jeez. George, you want to roll jump. <laughs> That's like luck. Do I have Did I train and jump? Can I, I roll my uh, parachute? No. Uh, no, there is no parachute. I grabbed a... Uh, uh, you know, uh, a rug off of uh, one That's of the... totally how it doesn't work. No, it's like all. cartoon logic. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah. Hey, you know what? No, I do roll jump, because you know what? I pass jump, too. <laughs> Jeezy, Pete. Uh, did Yay, you guys all... I everyone make, make that? No. Yes. If you didn't make it, roll a d6. Who Additionally, I'm actually trained in jump this time. Who didn't make it? Three. So I definitely made that. I didn't make it. I got pushed out the window. So take three <laughs> damage. Jesse, did you make it? But yes. I have the book. Okay. So uh, you guys get to the ground. Gorp um, has... I'm Gorp. 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 <laughs> Holy. Wait, did he shapeshift? Waffle. <laughs> no. Waffle I'm definitely the shooting him if he shapeshifted. <laughs> Waffles the disobedient penguin has... I can't protect you if you shapeshift. So, uh, William, uh, you have sprained or broken your ankle. We'll see you later. Yay. Uh, uh, and you uh, are helped by one of the other gentlemen, doesn't matter who, to the car. And not me. Not you. Oh, hell. <laughs> and you guys run away as the side of the, the house lights on fire. Yeah. Um, people are coming outside, but nobody seems Boo. interested in you. Um, although you do see uh, four men in SS officer, uh, SS, SS uniforms coming towards the house from like guard areas outside of it like they don't stop you they don't even give you a second look or they just go away. towards the house do they catch this yes they do <laughs> you give them you one guys, finger salute this is a pretty bird look an extraction and that'll do us tonight for the terrible extraction no we just gotta drive to the airfield and punch our ticket out that way the, this will do it tonight for uh the nurse means presents masks of nearlothotep we will talk to you guys next week That will do it for us tonight on the Nerds Domain Presents Masks of Nyarlathotep. Remember, you can email us at nerdsdomain at gmail.com or find us on facebook.com forward slash nerdsdomain on Twitter at nerdsdomain or over at our site nerdsdom.com be sure to sign up for the newsletter while you're there. You can head over to iTunes and give us a five-star rating. We want to thank Josh Shop for our music. Don't forget, you can support us at patreon.com forward slash nerds domain. And check out our shirts at slash loot.